Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Colossians 1.17. Jesus is before all things, and in him all things hold together. So, yeah. All right, today is just a whole lot of nothing. Um, I just wanted to do a quick update. I don't have anything. Well, I have them off the hook. The slippers are done for Easter. The 24 chickens are done. And the candy stuffed in them. And I've already given them away. I gave them away one week um, before Easter. So exactly one week before Good Friday. Um, but all of those are dispersed and gone. Uh, I ended up making 24, filling the Easter eggs. I took one to work, got all those taken care of. Um, the four sets of slipper, I made five, made one for me. I think I talked about that last week. That's why I'm going really fast. Um, I did a couple of rows on this and I'm just going to have to get myself together and do it. The yarn does not pull right and it irritates me. So now I'm having to work from the outside in. And so I am on my second ball of yarn. Um, when this ball is done, then I will start the front panels. So. It, the inside is a mess. They don't pull out right. And yeah. So I'm working on it. That's the only thing I don't like about this yarn. Is it's soft. It's The color's great. It does not pull out like it should. Um, I don't know. I wish there was a better way that people could do those. Alright. The other thing that I've been working on is... I started me just a springtime evening wrap. So it is, well, I think I had it started last week. This ball and shawl. And it's just a really simple pattern. I just make rows that look cute to me and then go, huh, I'll repeat that. So yeah, this is a three row repeat. Um, there's two rows of half double crochet. Then one row of the fillet type crochet, and then two half rows, or two rows of half double crochet, and so on and so on and so on. So, um, I've been working on that just in the evenings. Now this week, I feel like I got nothing done, but I was super busy, and I got a lot done. If that makes sense. Um, so, first thing I did was I did all the grocery shopping. For Easter and all that, the kids are coming. Um, Macy, her family has her running. I need nothing, and she's gonna have to drive two hours to come down here. You know, or drive four hours to here, two back to spend two. Just doesn't make much sense. So she is probably not gonna come, but RJ is gonna come and eat with us, and then he's gonna go to a rope. Uh, yeah, Easter's always that way. It's just one of those things. Um, so I did all the grocery shopping for Easter. Um, then came back to the house, mowed, weed eated, uh, sprayed the cedar chips out front. Needless to say, the yard is looking awesome. Okay, so while I was out in the yard, um, I have been, you know, kind of doing some plants. I found this kind of plant. I don't know what it is. It's like a little succulent and it was literally in the yard. So I dug it up, brought a little thing in. I made my first terrarium. I did some replanting for plants at work and I ended up, dang it, I should have, well, hold on. Okay, so I had a container like this at work that had, it started out with three babies. I don't remember if you guys remember, it had three babies like this in it. I have stripped it down. I have taken out one, two, three, 
four, five, five or six of them out. Okay. I know I said I started with three. They've been having babies. They've been doing whatever, splitting, dividing, and I have been separating them. So I have this plant that I removed. There's two of them. I just ran out of small pots. Um, I removed them from the thing at work and I actually removed another one too. So, um, I removed those and was playing around and then on that wall at work, I'm sorry, my ear itches, uh, on that wall at work, I put that other one back and then I thought I'm going to try a little terrarium because terrariums don't have to have a lot of water, um, high sunlight less water. So I went and I got moss and gravel, picked up a few little succulents and then I played. So the sucker is heavy because it's, remember it's a layer of rock. Okay. Layer of rock, layer of soil, layer of rock, layer of soil. Then it's got moss on top and the succulents, of course, I've got them in here. So I bought this thing right here. I bought this little thing right here, which has two little babies on it. And then I bought these things right here that look like they were going to die when I got them, but they're looking amazing now. And then I went out in the yard and I got some of this stuff. And we shall see. Um, I am putting them in highlight. Um, that one hasn't been in highlight, but this one has been. And if they make it, then this one will go up to the uh, office. And I will just spritz it and go on. And I should have, I shouldn't have to divide this out as much. So um, I thought about taking one of these big leaves off and seeing if I could pot it in something else. You know, they say that succulents will do that, but in there pretty good so anyway yeah so I am definitely um trying the terrarium thing but I did that juggled the plants we needed did like I don't know how many loads of laundry this weekend um I had all the dog stuff to do the beds to do um just our clothes I hadn't done the laundry all week so that piled up on me and I really hate it when I do that. But yeah, so I had a really busy weekend and I've gotten no crochet and no sewing done. I did start to work on a couple of the shirts this weekend and the sewing machine messed up. But then I realized it hadn't been serviced this year and I've been doing much more sewing than I used to. So I went ahead and took this thing off, cleaned it all out. You know, uh, cotton thread makes a, a dust and a fuzzy that gets all in there and gunks everything up. And so I try to clean it out once a year and oil it. I don't know if I should be doing it more often than that. Um, but it runs really great now. I didn't get any sewing done because I started sewing machine messed up. I got mad. I'll take care of this service, the whole thing. And yeah, then I didn't do any sewing because I had other things to do. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a busy weekend and a busy week. Um, the duck, of course, went down there. Took care of him. <sighs> Sorry. But other than that, he, everything's going good. Baby duck's down there. Um, baby duck isn't eating as much corn now. Of course, I just went and bought a new bag, but he's not eating it because it's kind of spring and he's looking for bugs and worms and so, but, uh, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's a whole lot of nothing, not really any crochet or sewing. Um, but I've got a lot of stuff done. So I was pretty happy with the weekend. The yard looks great. A little terrarium. I like it. I'm hoping that it'll pull out a little bit and be good to go. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. And I like my little plants. I'm hoping that they'll become trees. The ones I took from the work thing. I I'm hoping they get big, tall, like trees. I don't know. 
We shall see. Uh, all right. Well, I do need to get ready for work. Sorry, it's not more. Next week, I'm going to do the drawing. If you have not gone to the last giveaway video and put in your name for the drawing, please do so because next week I am drawing. And if it's unclaimed, I'm just not doing it. So, yeah, do that. All right. Thanks for watching. I will talk to y'all next time. And hopefully next week I'll have some other things to show you besides plants in the yard. But it was a nice weekend. So, um, and you guys, if I don't record before Easter, which I don't think I will, you have an amazing Easter. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.